Hey guys, I'm back with another unboxing and today I have the Fora P30 Plus. It's a blood pressure monitoring system. Alright, so let's look at some features listed at the front of the box. So number one, it automatically takes three measurements. So it will do the average of your reading for you. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to manually record three times and then calculate the average. Everything is done for you. Number two, it can detect if you have any irregular rapid heartbeats. Third one, it has auscultatory measurement. That is actually the listening of the internal sounds of the body, usually done using a stethoscope. Number four, it has 60 test memories with date and time for your reference purposes. So you don't have to write it somewhere or remember what was your previous results. Everything is stored inside. That's enough talking about the device. Let's finally unbox it. So measuring your blood pressure every day is actually very good because it can help with the early detection of hypertension, which is very deadly. So everything actually is packaged in this nice pouch. It's always nice when something has its own bag. This is the sleeve. This is the device itself. We've got some batteries inside. That's always nice. And we have the guides here. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Here's a closer look at the main unit. On the left, you have the memory button. This is where you go if you want to look back at your previous readings. Here's the on and off button. It's also the start button. And on the right, you have the average function, which takes the three readings for you. That's pretty much it. Let's put the batteries in. It's a very simple design, nothing too complicated. Okay, I think there, oops. It's starting to take some measurement. Let's put it off. As you can see, there were a lot of information there just now, like the date, time. So I think, let me set it up and unbox this cuff and I'll get back to you. All right, I've done the setup for the date, time, year on the device. It's very simple using the manual. Now let's have a look at the cuff. Feels very nice. Make sure it's snug. And I guess, we might as well take a measurement right now. That's the only way to show the device in action. So let me put this on my left arm. Now, there's also a couple guidelines they included for measuring your blood pressure, such as do it only 30 minutes after you shower or after you exercise, and don't measure when you're feeling anxious or tense, which is usually how I feel when I'm recording videos. Also, you should place your elbow on a flat surface and there's a handful of guidelines. You just have to read the manual to make sure that you are allowing the device to record it as accurate as possible. I've got a chart that I'll put up on the screen right now of the blood pressure readings. And I guess let's just do it. Switch it on and it's going to go. Oh wait, we have to hold it. Yep. That's to prevent any accidental switch ons, let's say inside of the bag or something. I should probably not be talking but I also want to point out that the device, if you can hear it or if you can't hear it in fact, it operates in a very silent manner. It's not too noisy unlike other machines. 151101. Okay, that's, uh, that's in the high blood pressure range. But like I said, uh, I, this is how I am on video. I'm also talking a lot and it's close to midnight right now. So all these factors will reflect in the result. But back to what I was saying about its silent operation. When the device is too loud, sometimes it can also reflect in the readings because it will just add more stress towards you. We'll do a couple more readings. We'll try the averaging feature and try noticing how silent the device is. Press this button. Also, did you guys realize that the reading is quite fast compared to other devices? So it's silent and fast and I better keep quiet. So that was the first reading. If you realize at the bottom right, there's a counter. That's the counter for the next reading. That was the second one and we've got a longer timer for the third reading. 
I like this feature so far. It's very thoughtful, especially how the three readings are spaced out after each other. Alright, so I think the number went down a bit, but we can check that by going inside the memory. So let's have a look at the two results that I just did. In order for you to look back at the memory, you have to hold the M button and it will take you to the history of readings. So number one is the most recent reading, which is the one I just did, 14391, and then just press it again for the reading before that. If you have more, it's just with the single button, you scroll through the readings, it's very simple. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it. My review for the Fora P30 Plus. It works, it looks reliable, it's built well, it's lightweight, I can definitely bring this for travel. It comes in a very handy pouch that will contain everything I need. I definitely recommend this device. It says what it's supposed to do. It looks nice. It's very, very easy to use. If you are interested in getting one for yourself, I'll put links in the description below and you can order it and expect to receive it very soon. I'm sure that you will be very happy with this purchase. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for the next review. Hey guys, just a quick one before I end this video officially. So I took my reading again after switching off the camera and these are the results, 11675. Let me show you the results when I was recording. 14391 and obviously the first one was worse. So that just proves my point. Being on camera or just having something recording increases the stress a lot. Alright, that's all I wanted to share before I end this. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.